everybody and welcome back to another fantastic episode of Martin Boy's Movie Notes. Today we will be discussing one of my all-time favorite scenes out of any movie. In 2004, Studio Ghibli came out with what many consider to be their pinnacle masterpiece, Spirited Away, written and directed by Hayao Miyazaki, who is one of the greatest filmmakers in the 20th and 21st century. This movie is fantastic. It's not my favorite Studio Ghibli movie, but it is in my top three favorite of Studio Ghibli movies, and this is actually the first Studio Ghibli movie I ever saw. Towards the end of this movie, Sen is on a train off to the sixth station known as Swamp Bottom. And this train ride is so perfect, it just struck me at its beauty the first time I saw it. There is very little dialogue in this singular scene, a few lines here and there, but the majority of the scene is just images and an absolutely beautiful piece of music called The Sixth Station, written and performed by Joe Hishiyashi, who is my all-time favorite film composer. We see a lot of images in this scene, and I want to take a minute and try to think about exactly what we're seeing here and try and figure it out. Basically, the scene is pretty straightforward. Sen is on a train, off to a station. That's all the scene is. That's all it could have been. It could have just been her getting on the train and then arriving at her station. But they show us the in-between stuff. Up until this moment in the movie, we have not seen humans. Human spirits. We've seen human-like, humanoid spirits. But we never get true 100% confirmation that these people are human, okay? Up until this point, the only person we can full-on confirm is a, like a human being is Sen. Okay, she's the only one. But on the train, we see black, see-through, human-looking figures, which leads me to believe that the people on this train are human spirits that have moved to the other side. Okay? I believe these people are dead. I believe this is a glimpse to the beyond in terms of human spirits, okay? Every other spirit in the bathhouse is something else. There's the radish spirit, there's the river spirit who's super polluted, who goes to the bathhouse to get clean. There's a lot of things that we could talk about in terms of that, but I believe the people on this train are human, okay? There's a whole host of other questions that are then raised by this, okay? Why are they on the train? Where are they going? Why do some get off at some stations and some get off at other stations? If this is the beyond, what is there to determine where they then go in the beyond? Because it's not like these people lived here their whole lives. This is the spirit world. So what is their emotional or what is their connection between where they were and where they are now? Why have they assumed these forms? There's so many questions. In terms of locations, we see quite a few very interesting locations. The biggest one that comes to my mind is the house and the tree on the island. There's nothing else around. It is just this house and a tree. Who lives in that house? Did they live in a similar house when they were alive? Just, I don't... That's the beauty of this scene, is it brings so many questions forth and answers none of them. You, I will never know what this scene really means. It's up to my interpretation of what this scene really means. And that's why it's so great. You see so many things that you know what they are instinctually. It's a train station. People are getting off the train with their luggage going down to the tunnel to go somewhere else. Okay. But why? Why are they doing this? This is clearly the beyond. Is this all the beyond is? Is just the next stage in more living? Do these people have jobs? Do they have families? What are their stories? And there's one spirit in particular I want to fixate on because I have a very strong hypothesis for what this character represents. As they pull away from a particular train station, we see what can only be described as a little girl ghost. Okay? Standing by herself, which makes me think that she died, but her parents didn't. And she's standing there waiting for her parents to come get her, which is unbelievably sad. How long has she been standing there? 
Will they ever arrive? What if their spirits can't cross? And she stands there forever. It's... It's... Because... Oh, man. I'm, I'm so, like, just choked up thinking about, like, this whole scene. I just love it so much. Because in many ways, that little girl ghost is a reflection on Sen's character. Because Sen doesn't know if she'll ever see her parents again either. So it's just, oh, layers upon layers of symbolism and hidden meaning that you can just pe like pick apart and figure it out and just see what they're trying to tell us. And it's all sewn together, wrapped up in this beautiful package by a song that really brings it on home. If this scene was silent, this scene would blow ass, okay? It is the song that makes this scene the most beautiful scene in the movie. Out of any of the Studio Ghibli movies, this is the most beautiful scene out of all of those movies, and I have seen them all. So I know with absolute certainty, this is the top of the top when it comes to Studio Ghibli scenes. This is it. It's, it's gorgeous. And eventually she reaches her station and then gets off the train. It is beautiful. It's probably my favorite traveling sequence out of any movie, if I really had to think about it. But this scene is superb. It is perfect. There is nothing wrong with this scene. I could go on and on about individual frames in this scene and try and figure out what they're actually trying to tell us here. I'm not going to do that. Because I believe this scene's perfection comes from trying to figure it out for yourself. These are just some of my ideas about this particular scene. And I really just want to draw your attention to just how fantastic a scene this really is. Because it is fantastic. If you don't want to see this movie for any other reason, see this movie for this scene. That is that is what you need to do next. Just get spirited away at like your local library or on Amazon. Just get the movie and watch the movie because you really do need to see this film. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Mergcore's Movie Moments, and I will see you all next week for another episode. Have a good one, guys.